Energy Secretary Stephen Chu went before a House panel and defended the half-billion-dollar government loan to the now-bankrupt solar company Solyndra. The final decisions on Solyndra were mine, and I made them with the best interest of the taxpayer in mind. And I want to be clear, over the course of Solyndra's loan guarantee, I did not make any decision based on political considerations. In better times, the president visited Solyndra and touted it as a model for clean energy. Chu says the White House never contacted him about the loan. Republicans have their doubts. It is readily apparent that senior officials in the administration put politics before the stewardship of taxpayers' dollars. Republicans also claimed that Chu turned a blind eye to red flags about Solyndra's finances and sought to elicit an apology. It is extremely unfortunate of what has happened to Solyndra, but if you go back and look at the time decisions being made, was there incompetence? Was there, undo was there any influence uh, of a political nature? And I, and I would have to say no. So no apology? Well. It is very, extremely unfortunate that uh, what has happened to Solyndra, and uh, we, I think you and I both feel the same. That refusal didn't sit well with several Republicans. You've been asked a couple times if there's anybody who ought to apologize. So far, as far as we've been able to get you is say, unfortunate and regrettable. Uh, I have a different view. I would, I would use reckless and grossly mismanaged. Chu says Solyndra simply got caught when the price of solar panels crashed and acknowledged he would not approve the loan again. Certainly knowing what I know now, we, we'd say no, but, not, but that you don't make decisions. You fast forward two years in the future and then just go back. Uh, I wish I could do that. And Chu says that with Solyndra out of business, taxpayers probably will not be able to recover much of the money. Jerry Bodlander, Associated Press, Capitol Hill.